Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about determination of support prices in agriculture. Minimum support price is a system introduced in the country to protect farmers. Even if the price of the crops falls in the market, the central government will buy crops at a fixed minimum support price from farmers, so that the farmers are not going to go in losses. The price of any crop decided by the central government as a minimum support price remains the same all over the country. Out of the five approaches used to determine support prices, the first is the cost of production approach that guarantees a fair return of a certain crop to the farmers and establishes a balance between a number of competing products. The second method is the parity price which is used to correct imbalances in terms of trade between agricultural and non-agricultural sectors. The parity price is an output price that will yield income which will buy the same quantity of other products as it would in some specified base period which maintains the balance between the prices of commodities sold and purchased by farmers. The third method is referred to as intercrop parity index which reflects the relative positions of various agricultural products and the rates at which these are exchanged. Different crops may compete with each other so a parity between their prices is kept so that one crop is not preferred over another. Next is the World Price Index approach in which government uses the world price as the reference price. These are mostly relevant in the case of export commodities or those ones that are partly supplied from abroad. Last is the Open Market Price which is determined through the supply-demand interaction. Government uses this when they want farmers to compete with other products or sectors. We hope that this video was useful and informative for you. Thank you for watching.